Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I have a squad builder for you all, but only one bu squad builder. I have three squad builders for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a team which costs 1 million coins, 1.5 million coins, and ultimately 2 million coins is what we will finish on. Because I think a lot of you guys have this amount of coins on your ultimate team at the moment. Hopefully this can give you some ideas that you can actually take and use in your FIFA ultimate team. Obviously, this is not going to be like my usual squad builders where we build one team. I show you them uh, performing in division rivals. But what I can say about all of these squad builders, I have used pretty much every player that I have put in these uh, teams. And I think that as a whole, they'll perform really, really well. And what I'm going to do as well is to so show you how I would actually play this in game as well. The best formation to get the most of this team and maybe a few custom tactics here and there guys so hopefully you guys enjoy it if you do smash like down below subscribe for a lot more fifa 21 content as i say this different type of content hopefully you guys enjoy if you do we can bring it more frequently to the channel but it's really really interesting to take a look at what you can get for a million coins because i know in a couple of months a team like the ones we are looking at now it's it's like, how much will this cost in a couple of months? Maybe 500,000 coins, how much will Salah drop to? How much will Martial drop to? They will all probably drop a lot, especially around the team of the year market crash. These players will probably drop a lot in price. So if you're willing to wait and you have the coins there, you could sell um, your players and then maybe go for a cheaper team. But these are some teams which I think will do fantastically well in foot champions. And the first one is this. We've gone for De Gea in goal, fantastic, better than Allison in my opinion, and he is cheaper. I mean, you can look at the prices there on the right, these are the Xbox prices, and De Gea coming in for 14,000 coins, in my opinion, is brilliant in game. Semedo right back, Sanchez, Gomez, Tellez. I used this uh, defence and it was brilliant, it nearly got me elite in foot champions. Obviously you are missing out on Varane and Mendy, but they are around 380,000 coins for the two of them so for the million coin team we decided to go cheap but overpowered on the defense and I think Tellers is nearly as good as Mendy anyway midfield Paul Pogba Alan Alan being your cheap Kante Pogba being in my opinion top five midfielders on the game absolutely love him in this game his his passing his shooting his dribbling his physicality is perfect Alan is there really too much difference between a Kante and an Alan I'll let you guys decide but in my opinion not so much Bruno Fernandes, a pain to play against. It's only 114,000 coins, and I'll show you the best position for Bruno Fernandes in this team. Mohamed Salah had to stick this guy in because he has been destroying me in the foot draft. Really, really has been. He has been more effective than Lionel Messi has been against me. His pace is ridiculous, dribbling, shooting has been a pain, and I've just had to get him in there. I think that if you are spending 300,000 coins, 330,000 coins, on a card on this game you need them to be effective and if you're going to have the one star in this team to actually win you games Mohamed Salah is that guy Martial up front Martial he's really good he's really really good 100,000 coins for the card and his dribbling shooting pace it's all overpowered Martial every year is really really overpowered next to him we have probably the most overpowered player in this team against me for me it's debatable, I can't really get the most out of Dembele, but against me for 50,000 coins, Dembele, you cannot go wrong. And this team looks really, really nice, especially when you consider that it works really well in a 4-2-3-1. You have Allen and Pogba as your CDMs. Bruno Fernandes goes to Cam. And personally, I would play it like this with Martial up top. But you can go like this if you want Salah up top. I would have it like this, so I think that is a fantastic 1 million coin team. Davinson Sanchez, Joe Gomez absolutely superb in the defense and will not that will not let you down will not let you down this team i think it's a perfect looking team the next squad then we go for a 1.5 million coin team and this one is a bit different because you might be thinking well you've cheaped out on the defense you've cheaped out going diego carlos under their militao the reason for that being is because i think this team would perform so well and it allows you to actually try some new rule breaker cards out which i think are really really um, overpowered to be honest I think are really really overpowered we've got Courtois, Tomato, Adem Letao, Diego Carlos and Tellez in defence not too much of a difference between the previous defence obviously you, you are losing Joe Gomez um, and you are losing Sanchez but Diego Carlos, Adem Letao are very very effective for a lot of people in this game midfield Paulinho and Allen. we swap out Pogba for uh, Paulinho 
which just allowed us allowed us to get some different links with this team. I think Paulinho is really, really good. I did review him and I really, really liked him. Bruno Fernandes, we upgrade to his inform card, which I think is a notab notable actual increase from his regular card and is a fantastic player at CM, at CDM in a 4-2-3-1 probably and at the camp position. Lucas Moura, he's not the best, but honestly guys, he is there more so for the links. If you can afford it, probably get Rashford in on seven chemistry. Alex Texeria, brilliant. I actually think he's really good. 350,000 coins is a hell of a lot though to be spending on an 83 rated card. Speaking of expensive players though, we go for Douglas Costa. This guy was nearly 500,000 coins, which for me, looking back, is a lot to be spending on this team. Um, Douglas Costa though, he is really good. He is an out and out winger. And once again, with this team, you could go... 4-4-2, you could go 4-2-3-1. I think it probably would be best suited to a 4-2-3-1. What I like about it though is you could go like this. You could go Lucas Moura there, Bruno Fernandes as a striker, as a false nine. Tex area getting behind, Moura, Costa. That is some natural width that you have in the team. Maybe the other teams, like if you're using Martial, Salah, they are proper wingers, whereas Moura, Costa, they are proper wingers on this game. But if you wanted to mess around with this team, you could probably get rid of maybe... Um, a few of these special cards. You could probably even get Neymar in a team like this. Players like the defence, Allen, Paulinho, are all really, really effective if you want to build them around maybe a Neymar. If you have your one star player as a Neymar, the rest of these players don't really cost too much. It's just these special cards, which obviously do bump the price up. But I think they actually do warrant their high price because they've got really good links, really effective in-game as well. Here we go though, the 2 million coin team, and I can say that I have pretty much used this team right here, except for one player, which is Usman Dembele, and I probably should have used him when I did have these players in my team. We go for a different goalkeeper, we go for Loris because he's effective in getting Varane uh, and Gomez on chemistry without going for an Allison. Can't go for Courtois because Gomez wouldn't get chemistry. Wan Bissaka at right back, really nice card. I do like Wan Bissaka. I think Semedo is probably better if you can afford a Kyle Walker. Maybe go for a Kyle Walker, but he's a very expensive card in this game. Joe Gomez, brilliant centre back. Varane, Mendy, they are the two players I believe everyone needs. If you want to get the high ranks in FIFA 21, Mendy, Varane, they will help you so, so much. Martial playing at that CM position just before we actually change the formation in game. But. Martial, again, he's just too good to not have in this team. Maxi Minute, right wing, obviously would get seven chemistry if we did change him to left mid and we had the right manager and we had the loyalty. Marcus Rashford informed the cheap Mbappe this year. He's not cheap though, he is around 600,000 coins, 635,000 coins, so it's not cheap. But what I do like about Marcus Rashford is, again, he does feel like Mbappe in this game. His finishing is absolutely superb. We go for N'Golo Kante. I nearly put Paul Pogba in because I think Paul Pogba and Allen is probably a better balanced midfield. But I think if you have Kante and Allen, you can really, really um, just let the attack just do its job and you will defend uh, superbly well with Varane, Gomez and Kante sitting in front of them too. Allen as well will be a defensive beast, probably more of the box-to-box -box player. And yeah, guys, this team, I would, again, I would use it in a 4-2-3-1, but I think the beauty of this team is that you can almost use it in sort of any formation that you would, like, I can't even play 4-3-2-1 with this team. Martial at CM, probably pushing forward. Probably me, though, I would probably go, I like this formation, 4-3-3-4, maybe something like this. Rashford, Martial out wide, Maximin in behind it, Cam Dembele out wide. There are so many actual um, variants that you can use this team and I think it's just a really really nice option if you have two million coins I would definitely recommend going out and actually building something like this because I think it will perform spectacularly well for you for this team here custom tactics I'll probably have stay back on Kante probably um, getting behind on Rashford getting the box for Dembele and Martial stay forward on Maximin and stay back on the defenders but yeah I've used this team pretty much and it was absolutely superb, absolutely superb, guys. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. 1 million coins all the way up to 2 million coins. Maybe you're in the middle. Maybe you can take a few players from these teams and actually stick them in yours. Hopefully you did enjoy it, though. If you did, smash the like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. I will see you all in the next one.